Hey, are you going to show me your new po pocket watch? It's not a pocket watch. That is not a pocket watch, obviously. This is the Heirloom Dual Sapphire Titanium Compass. It took a long time to produce this. We actually had some friends that were very close to us that we wanted to make something really, really, really special. A watch, yeah, it's cool, but a compass, you know, hey, going on journeys, right? That's, oh, and life's journeys. One of life's journeys. Not This is not a moral compass, so that's, you know, oh, that's oh. internal, so. That's a game, okay, mine's broken. Let's talk about this. Um, it's titanium base, uh, grade five, so the entire ring here around is titanium. The, uh, the bale base, which is this piece right here, the where the loop goes through, that's titanium. And then this part right here on the top is called the bale, and that is stainless steel, which is non-magnetic stainless. Okay, and that's because it's... Uh... It'll wear a little easy... A little, if you're having a, you know, string or a chain or something through it, it'll actually wear a little bit uh, smoother with a stainless steel. Okay. Uh, titanium has very good non-magnetic properties, um, but uh, and it's lighter than stainless steel, so we... Because here, and, and the reason for that is... The sapphire material is very heavy. Sapphire? Wait, wait. Sapphire? It is. It is a manufactured sapphire or, or lab-created sapphire. Wouldn't, wouldn't same, plastic be easier? Yeah, but it's going to scratch. Uh. This is going to be harder to scratch. This is, on the Mohs scale, is 9. So a diamond is 10. So okay. not to say you can't scratch it or chip it, but you, it's going to be tough. Okay. So um, how is this made? Well, it's one moving part in there. The sapphire, we actually drilled the sapphire halfway through on, on the inside, on both sides, front and back. I'll flip it over. And um, it's suspended in between there. I saw, I becomes, remember when you were doing that. It becomes a bearing, yes. You were and going And that was nuts. very difficult. I was trying to get the needle in there and put the thing into inside with it, you know, sandwiched. It has compression ring in there, so it is waterproof. It's not a dive compass. Okay. But uh, so I think it's I, I, I think it's like a piece of jewelry myself. I it's beautiful. It's marked Meritac here on the bottom. Oh, okay. And there's a brushed titanium finish. Is that uh, laser etched out there? It or? is. Oh, it is. Oops, it's actually, you're just off screen. Oops, sorry bit. about that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. It's actually engraved and um, luminous on the front top side here with the orange and uh, nice fluid. Wow. Movement here. Let's put it in my hand so. Zoom out a little bit there. Okay. There we go. There it is. It's um, one and a half inches in diameter. Okay. And 0.365, uh, it's almost three eighths of an inch thick. So there it is. Wow. In the thickness. I'll bring it up there. You can see that? And there it is. Sorry for the glare, but yeah, a very cool piece. Um, now, both sides of the, the crystals are flat or? Yeah, they're flat, so you can use it on a. You le use, use it, it on, on a mat. compass. Yep, and there's uh, 360 degree graduates on uh, graduations on there, with north uh, here at the top with a little red dot on the top or a triangle, and we zoom in on that. Oh yes. And there, there, you there you go. I'll move it back down here a little bit there for you. Okay. Yeah, pretty cool piece. This was really hard to make. I I, I can't tell you how hard it was to make because it took forever uh, to produce it. Here it is next to a quarter. Let me. Put the quarter next to it so you can see the size. Uh, there it is, oh, wow. quarter okay. size, but very, very cool piece. So, um, how long, I remember you were working on this, you know, you I, I, I could you not. I there, could, you, what you chucked we, up the uh, the sapphire and we drilled it with a diamond drill and then we polished the inside of the hole, the counterboard, each side of the two sides of the sapphire that had to be sandwiched in between with the with the crystal uh, with the uh, needle inside there, so it was difficult to produce. So we actually went to our watch manufacturer and had them help us with building the parts for that. And uh, so they, you, you did you did the hard work. You did the did hard the work, production. and they did the production because they handle uh, small, intricate pieces like this. You know, they're dealing with jeweled bearings and stuff. So um, I think it's a very cool piece. The um, I, yeah, I'm not sure if it's it, it's super functional jewelry. I'm not sure. Is it more jewelry? Is it more? I think it's a cool. I think it's almost like an art piece. It is totally it is an very art piece. cool, and it works. And yeah, so um, oh, I'm gonna get you it. back in there. There, there we are. Yeah, has a little leather pouch. Oh, there. has a that. leather pouch. That's a little snug fit. Nice. It is. So it'll. Oh, I can smell the leather. Yep. So, and it's uh, stitched to leather. It is tight, but uh, I'm sure the leather will stretch out oh. over time. 
But that that's it. It's uh, weighs one point one one ounces, so that's about uh, thirty one. That's probably thirty thirty five grams somewhere in that range, and uh, so extremely anti magnetic, of course. It has to be. It has to be. If I get something close to it, you know, it's gonna gonna react. Obviously, yeah. you know, oh, yeah. a piece of metal or how about a how about a tin? You know. Oh. Oh, I would expect it to be more magnetic. Yeah, so, but, uh, yep, so that is it. That is the Heirloom Dual Sapphire Titanium Compass, and uh, I guess I'll be launching soon. Launching soon, and uh, get on the wait list, is yep. what I understand, because it's going to go, they're going to go quick. So, to answer your question, it's not a pocket watch. It's not a pocket watch. Good, because I was going to... And it's not a moral <laughs> compass. That's, that's, a, that's we're, that, we need to work on that. We're going to work on that. Okay. All right, I, I thanks for watching. <laughs>